All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're going to talk about how you adjust your audio levels when you're on Windows machines, because occasionally people have asked me, um, Larry, I can't hear my microphone when using programs like OBS or Overwolf in order to record my games, and oftentimes my pals can't hear me, when I try to say words to them on Skype or whatever uh, voice program. So the way you do this, and this is pretty much the same for all versions of Windows, I possibly Windows 8. Windows 8 is like an evil demon. We don't really talk about what happens on Windows 8. So basically what you do is to control your audio levels, you go down to the lower right hand corner here it, on your Windows desktop to your sound icon and you open up either playback devices, which is your mic, you know, your headset sort of speakers, or your recording devices, which is your microphone. You can hit either of these. It's actually the same window, um, just different tabs. I'm going to go to recording devices because we're talking about microphones. And you can see right here, I have disabled a couple of things here, but let's say I've got my built-in microphone here on this computer turned on because this is a laptop so there's like a microphone a really shitty one up by the webcam so that's enabled and in order to adjust the, the volume on this sucker we just click it just get it selected and hit properties and then this window will pop up that allows you to adjust things like what it's called like i'm actually going to rename this um the built-in real tech mic just so that I remember what it is. And I'll hit apply so it saves that. You can use this thing called listen, and this will actually let you preview what you hear, like what the microphone hears, but I don't want any feedback, so I'm not gonna do that. But you can just click on this, and you can hear it, and you can adjust these settings, because this is a, a laptop. You know, laptops are really fiddly with uh, how much stuff uses power. But this thing, for the most part, is just, uh, plugged in, so I don't really care. Now, here we go. So, here's our microphone level. This is our primary microphone volume. I'm actually gonna disable this microphone boost. So this is our default microphone level here, and it was set at like something like 80 or something, and if you're having a microphone that's really quiet, you might have it set down to something like 25 to 30 by default, because some of the games that you like to play um, they can actually take control of your default microphone, and they'll adjust that. And it's really annoying, I know, but it happens. You can actually disable that, I forget how, but that's not in this tutorial. So you just adjust that here, and then you can, you know, make a test recording or listen to it with that listen feature to see how it sounds. And if it's still not powerful enough, uh, in newer microphones and newer versions of Windows, you can use a microphone boost so that you can basically hear that thing from across the house. So no problems there. Um, this microphone's actually kind of poopy, so if I disable microphone boost, you see in the background here, it's not actually doing anything in this preview um, volume tab. So I'm just gonna bump that up to full, and then this default built-in microphone is ready to make people's ears bleed on internet voice chat. Or, you know, your recording software of choice, and, of course, do a test recording before you use these things, um, just so that you get the right level and you don't, like, have static or something. It's always good to test this stuff. Um, under Enhancement, you got some fancy voice, like, uh, vocal effects, depending on what, um, drivers you have installed. Like, this thing's got these weird real tech drivers that let me try and mess with, uh, noise suppression, beam front forming. You can read what this stuff does online. I don't really like using built-in filters just because they tend to be really cheap and not very good. Um, they tend to mess with your audio and make it sound poopy and we don't want that. And last but not least, you got the overall recording quality back here. This just changes the Hertz level. Um, I would leave it on DVD quality. There's really no reason anymore in this day and age to reduce it to CD quality unless um, you have a really weird, old, janky microphone. Now, um, this is actually what I was talking about earlier. You can, um, exclusive mode, you can allow applications to take control of this device. I'm gonna say no, because I don't want any application 
to mess with this so that it stays at whatever level I set it at and no application will reset it. And this is important because if you have a big expensive microphone like I do, um, I used to plug my Blue Yeti into the to the PC, and if an application bounces the Blue Yeti up to maximum, it will literally make people's ears explode. So if you have a powerful microphone, don't let it do that. And that's basically how you modify your recording device. You get some similar stuff here with the L, you know, with the playback. Mine's going through an HDMI to my capture card, so I can actually configure this here if I really want to by going to properties. And then I can say, like, if I want any special effects, but I can't really do much with these levels that I can't just do by selecting the icon in the lower part of my screen. Now, if you're having issues with some of your sounds not coming out in your recordings, or for whatever reason, some like voice chats not picking up um, your sound, your voice, anything in this list that isn't disabled that you're not using, go ahead and disable it. And if you can't see the stuff that you've disabled, just right click anywhere in this window and click show disabled devices in case you want to re enable those later. And for the most part, that should cover all of your playback and recording needs. These other tabs control things like your default system sounds and uh, some other communications information. Like, uh, it, when I talk to people, it can reset sound levels and everything, but I'm actually going to tell it to not attenuate my audio at all. So that's how you handle your audio control levels by, you know, basic amount in Windows from, like, XP onwards. I don't know about older versions, but this, you shouldn't be using those anyway, unless you're like in Cambodia or something. If you are Cambodian, talk with me in the comments and we'll work something out for you on Windows 98. I don't think anything really runs on Windows 98, so you're a crazy person if they somehow are. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Um, join me again next time. Until then, like, subscribe, all that fancy stuff. Maybe check out my gaming channel, and I'll catch you later. Bye!